even small amounts of lead can cause serious health problems. Children younger than six years are especially vulnerable to lead poisoning, and it can severely affect mental and physical development. Common sources of lead include bullets, curtain weights, and fishing sinkers, pipes and sink faucets, which can contaminate the drinking water, soil polluted by the car exhaust or chipping house paint, paint sets and art supplies, jewelry, pottery, and lead figures, and lastly, storage batteries. We have some symptoms, for example, joint and muscle pain, headache, high blood pressure, trouble concentrating, memory problems, irritability, loss of appetite, weight loss, sluggishness and fatigue, abdominal pain, and lastly, vomiting. The brain is the most sensitive organ to lead, thus it can cause memory problems, and in severe cases, it can cause mental disabilities in a child. In severe cases, you can see anemia, seizures, coma, or death. We have some risk factors. The first one is age. Infants and young children are more likely to be exposed to lead than our older children. They might chew paint that flakes off walls and woodwork, and their hands can be contaminated with lead dust. The second risk factor is living in an older home. Although the use of lead based paints has been banned since the 70s, older homes and buildings often retain remnants of this paint, and people renovating an older home are at even higher risk. The third risk factor is certain hobbies, for example, making stained glass and some jewelry requires the use of lead solder and also refinishing old furniture might put you in contact with layers of lead paint. The fourth one is living in developing countries. Developing countries have less strict rules regarding exposure to lead than do developed countries. And American families who adopt a child from another country might want to have the child's blood tested for lead poisoning. And the first step of treatment is to locate and remove the source of the lead. We should keep children away from the source. If it cannot be removed, it should be sealed. A simple blood test can tell if you or your child has lead poisoning, and the treatment may involve succimer or EDTA, and these are chelating agents. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you later.